Well, today we're going to look at the microscopic muscle and the structures involved in it. So a muscle cell, which is also called a muscle fiber. Now just looking at this picture, um, seeing the, uh, the posterior side of our little model, uh, this muscle, which I'll outline right here, is called the trapezius. All right? And again, we'll learn this at another time. But what I want to concentrate on is these little fibers that are right here. I want to just point out a few things. So if I enlarge like this little area so that we can look at it, it will look something like this. Boom. So these little fibers inside each muscle uh, that is an organ, there are little bundles called fascicles. And each fascicle is a bundle of cells, muscle cells. Now a muscle cell is also called a muscle fiber. And so this little fascicle, for instance, this one right through here, I'll just try to, to draw it in red, is made up of a bunch of muscle cells, again, which we call muscle fibers, and those cells are as long as that fascicle is. So they can be very long in some muscles. Now, this next picture I'm going to use to show you a little bit about how a muscle is put together before we look at um, the actual muscle cell. So this is a cross-section, this is a full muscle, and we're going to look at this more in, in uh, lecture, but I just want to show you what I'm talking about. So this is a full muscle, and inside of, inside of the muscle are little groups called fascicles, right? So this is a fascicle that has been pulled out uh, and isolated, and then it's cut in half, and you see that inside each one of those fascicles this is going to have groups of actual cells. This is a muscle cell. In this picture, it is called a muscle fiber, but it's a cell. And then just like one of those little, I think they call them nesting dolls, where you sit there and you just keep opening it up at the same thing, you're going to see that inside a muscle fiber or cell, there's, it's a bundle of repeating structures that we'll learn of as myofibrils. And then even inside that, there's a repeating bunch of little structures called filaments. So it's like this never-ending little cycle of things we can look into. But I'm just pointing out that when we went back to that little picture and saw the, uh, the muscle fibers on the trapezius, um, those fibers that you can see are the fascicles. And inside the fascicles are where you're going to find the muscle cells. And that's what we're going to look at now, the parts that are inside the muscle cell. So this is our picture. Uh, in just a second, we'll look at the model, but I'll go over stuff. Uh, I want to go over some of the stuff on this picture. Uh, so first of all, you see these repeating tubes. Right? We saw these uh, just a minute ago. I said that those were called myofibrils. It's really important. Now, you're going to see that in the muscle, it's either going to be uh, something that has a prefix myo or sarco. Um, sarco and myo are the two... Uh, prefixes that mean muscle. So anytime you see those, you should automatically think we're talking about muscle. So these are myofibrils. Uh, they are the contractile unit of the muscle. Now, this little part here we're going to end up learning uh, at another time. This is called a Z-line. Uh, this is a boundary line of a structure called a sarcomere. Uh, so each myofibril is broken up into individual units called sarcomeres. Uh, the sarcomeres are the fundamental unit of contraction. They are the actual thing that's going to shrink. And because each myofibril is going to be made up of thousands of those sarcomeres, the entire myofibril will shorten, which in turn, since there are all these myofibrils that are shortening all together, it's going to shorten the muscle and that's going to pull on something. And that's what muscles are designed to do. All right? So we've got these myofibrils here, and then we've got the um, sarcomere here. Now there's several of them. You've got a sarcomere here, a sarcomere here. This is a cut sarcomere, blah, blah, blah. All right. Now this is how it works. First of all, the cell membrane of a muscle is very unusual. It's very neuron-like and I, sh I should be more specific, it's very axon-like. It is designed to transmit an electrical signal down its 
uh, down the, the membrane. And so it has a very special name. It's called sarcolemma. Um, now you're going to learn when we're in the neuron, we're lo we'll look at something called a, a swan cell. And the swan cell has a specialized structure around it. Uh, called an axon, or uh, uh, called a uh, neural lemma, the outside part of it. Lemma kind of describes a, a transfer of electrical impulse. So this is called a sarcolemma. Sarco again meaning muscle, muscle transfer. So this muscle, I'm going to have a, a what we are learn, we will learn eventually as a motor neuron that sends a signal in here. It's going to cause this sarcolemma to become electrified by changing the ions across the membrane. And as that electrical current passes through, it's going to end up going through these little indentations, these little tubes. And these tubes are called transverse tubules because they go into the cell and transverse across. And as they go around, they wrap around these myofibrils. As it goes through, it wraps around this one, and it goes to the next one, and it wraps around that one. All right, so these little myofib or these little myofibrils have these transverse tubules that are going around it. The transverse tubule again is carrying the electrical impulse deep into the cell. All the transverse tubule is is a tube, a little straw that's an extension of the sarcolemma. Now, inside the cell there is a bunch of webbing that wraps around the myofibrils as well, and this webbing is called sarcoplasmic reticulum. Now it's very comparable to the uh, normal cell endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is simply a, a set of tubing that allows for the RNA, the messenger RNA, to leave the nucleus and find a ribosome, but it is a, a little uh, tubing system. And so this one's called sarco. Again, sarco meaning muscle, sarcoplasmic reticulum, which simply means reticulum is a tubing, and plasmic means inside the uh, plasma uh, of the cell, which is um, the fluid. So it's the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Inside the sarcoplasmic reticulum, there's going to be a storage of calcium ions, because calcium ions are the key to cause muscle contraction. Now, as this sarcoplasmic reticulum gets close to the transverse tubule on either side of it, it will turn into a little bit of a larger tube and run right alongside the transverse tubule. So every transverse tubule is going to have uh, two enlarged portions of the sarcoplasmic reticulum running right alongside it. So the group of the three tubes all right, so now we've got one in the middle called the transverse tubule and the ones on either side of it from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Those together form something called the triad. And again, you just need to know it as the triad. We're not going to get into too much of it. But the purpose of this enlargement of the sarcoplasmic reticulum that runs right alongside the transverse tubule is to make sure it has good contact. Because we're talking about an electrical charge, and an electrical charge requires good contact to get a full um, distribution. And so that's what happens. And as this uh, electrical impulse goes in through the transverse tubule, it electrifies the sarcoplasmic reticulum, which drops the calcium, which produces a result of a shortening of the sarcomere, which we will look at when we get uh, more in the lecture or more involved in this. Um, so those are the parts of um, the cell membrane. Remember also a cell membrane or a cell uh, muscle, uh, a muscle cell is also called muscle fiber. All right, so we have uh, the sarcolemma, the outer membrane and its extensions called transverse tubules. Uh, we have myofibrils uh, with their individual sections called sarcomeres, and then this sarcoplasmic reticulum that wraps around each one of those myofibrils that holds calcium, and as the electrical charge goes through the transverse tubule, it releases the calcium, which causes the sarcomere to shorten. Uh, one of the other things in here, this big blue part here, and then the one up on this side, these are nuclei 
Um, uh, skeletal muscles are one of the few muscles in the body that have multiple nuclei in it. Um, no big deal, but those are the parts of uh, the, the cell membrane. On this picture, and again, this picture will probably be used in the practical, I'm going to point out on the next picture some of the structures using the model just to show you. So on this model, uh, this would represent the sarcolemma. These blue right here represent the transverse tubule, and you can kind of see how it goes in here. All right. um, the peach here between the blue, this represents uh, the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The little, uh, the three tubes here, the transverse tubule and the, the uh, enlargement of the sarcoplasmic reticulum on either side is the triad. Um, you can see this to he this, this is the uh, structure we call the sarcomere. And then on this little picture, all of these little round tubes, which are the same ones as here, those are the myofibrils. And the last thing, these little guys right here, this and then again this one up here, uh, those represent um, the nuclei. And so those are the structures of the skeletal muscle cell, uh, again, which is also called a muscle fiber.